Welcome to New Student Orientation. This brief session is meant to introduce you to the online academic resources ROS provides for all students that can help enrich your learning experience in medical school. I am Marianne Campo, Learning Technologist at ROS. Canvas, the new RUSM Learning Management System, is a treasure chest of information. It is a repository of learning resources all in one place to help you to be a more efficient and effective learner. You can follow along with this presentation by clicking on your dashboard in Canvas. As you click along, think of it as a scavenger hunt where you're gaining valuable treasures as you find each resource that can be very helpful for you while learning in medical school. If you open up your Foundations of Medicine course, you will find three links on the home page that take you to different resources. The first link is the student resources. The second link has resources all pertaining to the mentoring program. And the third link is the modules that takes you into your course content. If you click on student resources, it takes you to the student center page where there's a plethora of resources here for you. The two that I want to focus on today are textbooks and collections and learning resources. Textbooks and Collections is where you can access your vital source textbooks that Ross supplies and other collections supplied by the library. You should already know how to set up your vital source textbooks and your bookshelf. You should have learned that from your IT orientation. If you click on Learning Resources, these are from the, the Center for Teaching and Learning. The Center for Teaching and Learning provides um, faculty who can help you with time management skills, test taking skills, different skills to help you to be a better learner. These resources are supplied here for you to go through at your own time and your own pace. So spend a day or an afternoon going through all of these resources. The next page, the Ann Ross Library Resources, are supplied and supported by our Ann Ross Library to help you in this semester and in all your future semesters while at Ross. On the left column, you will see Up to Date. It's a tool whose primary use is a clinical setting. It can be used to look up diseases so that you can get information on how to treat those diseases. Net Anatomy is a resource for anatomy that contains actual pictures of the area of the body being studied. It's a very useful resource that is subscribed for you from Ross. The theme Teaching Assistant Anatomy contains high quality illustrations to assist also with the learning of anatomy. Biomedical and Life Sciences Henry Stewart Talks contains over 1,500 presentations on a variety of life science topics. Many of them are topics you will learn in your lectures, and this can be used as a resource to support your learning. Micromedics is a pharmacology site. It's also available through an app, and it's used for clinical situations. It gives evidence-based information on dosage effects, patient education, and um, you can use this tool when learning about drugs that you will be administering as future physicians. Clinical pharmacology is another pharmacology resource. It gives point-of-care clinical information on drugs. It covers drug interactions, patient information, clinical calculators, vaccine information. And again, you can use this tool for learning about the drugs you'll be administering as a future physician. PubMed is a resource that indexes the medical literature. It can be used to find needed articles. It contains some free articles as well as articles from paid journals. If we don't subscribe to a particular journal, you can request that article through our interlibrary loan. On the other column, 
of it is access to medical journals such as academic medicine and journal of american medical association as well as many other journals the ebsco host is also access to medical journals and the ebsco database gives access to resources such as dynamed and many other databases that are useful for your learning science online this resource provides articles and research papers from science online from 1997 to the current issue. It's a very helpful resource. R2 Digital Library is access to basic and clinical sciences textbooks. They're available on a trial basis for a limited number of views. After that, you have to purchase it and add it to your digital collection. These are the resources that the library supports for you. Aquifer and APGOUYs are mainly used in your clinical um, semesters. And the last resources on this page are provided by Ross to help your, you with your learning as well. They are provided by Becker and are interactive ebooks and question banks with practice questions. The GuideMD ebooks are not just PDFs of textbooks but have audio narrations of chapters that present the information in more of a lecture style to help you understand topics and concepts that you will need to know about along your journey to become a practicing physician. If you go back to the home page and click on modules, this is your content, your course content for semester one. This is where you will find lots of course information, so make sure you click through the top section. And then if you want to know what lectures you're having for week one and week two, we only show you two weeks and then we'll add another week. We don't want to overload you with information right now. That's not necessary for your studying. So if we click on week one lectures, you will find all the topics and the lectures that are saved there for you to start previewing. You can see the, all the names of the ones for week one, and here's the lectures that you will have in week two. So if you were to click on, say, gene expression one, you would find that you will find the lecture PDF. You will find where the practice questions are located for you. You would find if there's any videos. Each lecture title is has the same information for you from different faculty. If you were to click on Gene Expression PDF, you can download that PDF and save it to your cloud storage or save it to your hard drive where you can use it in class when you are uh, taking notes on it. You might be annotating on your iPad or your, your uh, Surface tablet. You might want to use it for reviewing and studying and use it on Notability or I annotate. So that get a good idea of what the lectures are for you for two weeks at a time right now. Spend a lot of time going through those lectures and getting ready for week one and week two. So you'll be ahead of the game. As you can see, Canvas is loaded with information, lecture materials, and learning resources. These resources will help you from semesters one through ten. If you have any questions, you're welcome to contact me at mcampo at rossu.edu. Looking forward to seeing you all very soon.